the end of an uh, Congratulations. Congratulations on your nomination by Mr. President. We have your resume. You may wish to just give a brief uh, summary of yourself and then after take a few questions from uh, our distinguished colleagues. Auzu billahi mina shaitani rajim, bismillahi rahmani rahim. Um, I hope... Okay. All right. Your Excellency. Is it? Distinguished Senator, please, let's maintain order. Order, please. Ah. Yeah. Distinguished Senator Godswell Apabio, the Deputy Senate President, Senator Jibrim Barrow, other distinguished principal officers of the Senate, the distinguished senators from Katsuna State, Senator Abdul Aziz Er Adua, Senator Muntarit Nduze, Senator Nasru Zangwandora. May I also take a moment to specifically mention the female senators, Senator Banigo, Senator Adebule, and Senator Irati Irati Kingibe. All distinguished senators of the Federal Republic, good evening. I am Hanatu Musa Musawa. I would first of all like to express my sincere appreciation to this hallowed house for accommodating my participation in this crucial exercise for the evolution of our nation. First and foremost, I would like to praise the almighty Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful for his blessing given to me and to our nation. May I state my sincere appreciation to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for considering me fit to be nominated as a Minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I stand before you today deeply touched and inspired and with profound gratitude and a deep sense of purpose as I share my journey with you. My journey thus far begins and ends with two stories of two African boys. The first is the tale of a little black boy born in the rural setting of Bichi in Kano State into a humble family that struggled to make ends meet. By accident of birth, he started off selling cola nut on the streets just to make ends meet. But by determination, courage, innovation, initiation, toil and focus, he found himself standing beside Malam Aminu Kano during the Northern Elements Progressive Union movement, studying at Cambridge University, speaking Mandarin, becoming one of the most prolific Northern politicians of his time and empowering his children, especially his daughters. That man's name, that man's name was Alhaji Musa Musawa and he was my father. He passed on exactly 147 days ago, approximately 3,551 hours ago. As I stand here today, I do so in fulfillment of his journey, of his legacy and of his effort. My greatest regret is that he is not alive to see his third born daughter being screened as a ministerial nominee of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I grew up as a daughter of parents that cherished learning and believed in the power of justice to transform lives. The foundation bequeathed to me by the parents and community that brought me up planted in me a lifelong commitment to pursuing truth, fairness and equality. Politics may mean different things to different people, but it has become another avenue for me to drive change. 
as reluctantly as I am to call myself a politician. However, when one has been an active participant in the political game for 21 years, one is forced to come to terms with the fact that, yeah, honey, you probably are a politician. My political journey started in December 2002 when I joined the Buhari organization. Okay. I started my story. I'll conclude. The, what we expect from you, what we expect from you, is just verbal uh, summary of yourself. My name is this, that, that, not, uh, not, uh, not uh, an address to the United Nations. So, and w once you do that, you now wait for us to guide you as you progress. Uh, 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 so I think uh, I, I think you have done that adequately. Uh, uh, the civil senator Abu. Thank you, Mr. President. My name again is Senator Ishiaku Abu. I represent the good people of Adamawa North. Mr. President, I want to first of all thank President Bola Ahmed Tinubu for in the first time in the history of this nation, nominating seven women at one fair swoop as ministers designated. Mr. President, we never had it this good. We must encourage women, our mothers, to participate in politics. And Mr. Tinibu have shown this commitment. By this, Mr. President, I call on my colleagues to please Harato Musawa take a bow and go. Thank you. Uh, the civil senator uh, Ismail Akahu. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, Mr. President, my, my dear distinguished colleague, I am Suleiman A. Kau Sumaila, OFR, representing Kano's House Senatorial District. Uh, Mr. President, I want to... Uh, establish from where my dear colleague distinguished senator Isha Abu stopped. This is our chamber and of course in the spirit of working together with the executive with our president I think we need to commend Mr. President and uh, in commending him again we need to show it fanatically of uh, supporting his nominee and uh, allowed her to go or to take Bo and go to support him. Uh, this will show how friendly, gender friendly the Senate are uh, and our dear distinguished president of the Senate. Secondly, I so submit, uh, Mr. President. Thank you. Uh, this, this, uh, distinguished colleagues, I was, uh, I just went to this side. I listened to Senator Abu. I came to this side. I listened to Senator Kau, and um, and uh, it, there seems to be unanimity of thought. Yeah. Is is it the view of this Senate yeah. that that the nominee should be allowed to take a bow? Yeah. Those who I suppose say aye. aye. Those who I can say nay. The eyes have it. This is Mr. Nominee. Congratulations. You may take a bow and go.